Unfortunately, hard disks can break. How do you know if they are broken? 90% of the times you see this. Operating system not found. If you don't know for sure if it's your software or your hard disk that's broken, you can buy these things on eBay. It's a part of an external hard disk and this one has a different connection, let me see, this is a SATA I think, maybe I'm uh, wrong and this is a either ATA connector you just connect them to your USB on another computer if the hard disk won't load, you know your hard disk is broken today I'm gonna learn step by step how you can replace your bad hard drive that's inside with a new hard drive and let's see if it's going to work okay it sounds a little bit patronizing but you turn off your laptop you close it you turn it around the laptop okay you open up this thing with just a regular crossbow screwdriver you open it up it's that easy I already take out some screws that were inside I don't know if you can see it but there was a screw here and those screws are already removed when I took out this thing okay let me turn it around. I'm sorry if I'm making people nauseous. Okay, what to do next? You take it out. Just like this. And you mind it, please. If you go buying a new one, look at the info what you're having. I don't know if it's if anybody can read what's written on it but this is a Yachi, Yitachi, I'm sorry, Travel Star it has an ATA slash EDA connector and it's 5400 RPM uh, RPM is the, um, the speeding limit of the, um, of the hard disk drive and ATA either are these connectors. It's the, um, some XP laptops will only go until 5400. So mind that you don't go buying a 7200. Of course, computer specialists and more experienced people know how to put it in there and make it work, but I would not recommend it. I bought another one on eBay. This is 80 gigabytes. It also has 5400 RPM and it has also an ATA and slash EDA connector. Before, as you can see, the hard disk is within a hard case. I don't know. You screw them loose. and this one this one and this one these mines don't lose these little things it's very annoying if you do okay now you remove the hard disk from the case this is the broken one just put it away okay I removed the hard disk from the casing. Took me other equipment, bigger screwdriver, but I managed it. Now I want to remove this hard disk and put it in this case and eventually inside the laptop. But I could be loaded with energy, or how do you call it, electric electricity in English. So I need to touch something that's metal first to unload myself. Up with energy. I'm opening up 
very simple this thing putting on some gloves I already told you before I'm sorry for the information but I have a fever so I have sweaty hands and I don't want to mess anything up so I put on rubber gloves you don't need to just I'm doing this for as a favor for a friend of mine and I don't want to mess it up this okay please do it gently and I think I did it wrong sorry other way around yeah now you can see you can put the screws in there and then I'm putting on the screws back there please mind don't do this in a dusty basement or something like that because if there's going if there's too much dust you can break the hard disk again and I was smaller I always did those things in dusty basements stuff like that never had a problem before but friends of mine did so I just warn you screw everything back done it's all inside the casing everything's clean everything is neat so let's see if I can make it work yeah got it now I don't know if you can see it oh where did I put the screws this must be very annoying for the people that are viewing and my friend won't get a lot of trust in me anymore I lost the screws I lost the screws no I didn't I'm so sorry hope my friend isn't watching right now I just put in this screw again I take the top again put it on screw everything back it's as simple as that I turn I to cover the information around okay put your XP installations to CD-ROM or DVD in and wait wait and there it is the Windows setup now only thing that you have to do is wait install Windows again on it a new install see you next time bye bye